So the new Honda HRV, um, it's right here with me, and I'm really happy to review it for you, guys. Uh, it's kind of middle SUV from Honda, um, and it's really beautiful. It's really impressed me with the design and also with the interior space. Now let's begin with the back of the car with the sensors on this plastic. Uh, protection in the back also we have here the um, fog light in the back way way down uh, um, close to the exhaust pipe also we have plastic um, protection on the edge of the wheels here to protect the paint of the car also nice rims down here 17 inch rims um, they also look nice now I'm on uh, on the wide lens that why you cannot see it so well the, the design it also we have this LED light in the front daylight uh, the front of the car it's kind of my favorite uh, all the Hondas uh, front are very beautiful and also the new LED light system it's really beautiful also this chrome uh, dark in the front look also nice and front grille the way they do it the way they do the front uh, it look very nice in my opinion uh, it's it, it is a nice suv the, there down there we have also the fog light and uh, up there we have the camera front camera that read the speed limit the traffic uh, lines um, lane and stuff like this. In the front we have the same plastic down here, same plastic to protect the car paint from stone chips and rust. Also nice mirrors with blinkers uh, on the outside part going um, going forward and just want to show you the beautiful full LED light in the front. Tell me what you think about it in my opinion this HRV front look fantastic and the uh, LED light in the night make a fantastic difference uh, uh, on the view also have a place to put your extra trunk and also the panoramic sunroof up there uh, quite beautiful quite interesting also nice design for aerodynamic they work a lot. I like how they integrate this brake light. Uh, it look a little bit fancy in my opinion and really nice. Also a chrome line in, in the back here. Uh, HRV, uh, the logo here in the back. Also on the sensors there. And you can see all the trunk. It's way down to the plastic. Here we also see before the LED light that I show you with combination with uh, bulb light for blinkers also back camera and let's go in the back huge huge uh, door here in the trunk and huge space i don't know if you can see it very well i will open the door for you but it is a huge space in the trunk it's the most most big trunk in this class so the the other competitor companies doesn't have so much space uh, like this uh, Honda HRV have also big windows, uh, great visibility, also nice quality on the seat. The seat are really interesting. I will show you in a moment what I'm talking about. Quite interesting. Uh, one of the best seats I ever seen in my opinion, and really practical. It is a really amazing job what Honda did with this seats now it's almost flat floor there and you have a lot of space as you can see when you let the seat down the seat they go down all the way down uh it has an interesting interesting design and the car can be flat there and also mm, i like it i like that it's huge huge space there also you can see when you lift the seat the seat will go up to in the same time and when you go it down, it will go down in the same time to make more space in the car to carry more items. And you can see now it's in normal position. That's quite interesting and you can have some space under the seat. 
You can also take the seats up and you can put more 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 stuff in the car if you want to carry stuff in the car there they are quite interesting also we have a light here in the trunk and also 12 volt port on the right side pretty pretty helpful now uh, sorry about that we have a little step there and a huge space down here where you can put some stuff I'm really impressed with the space in, in this uh, trunk really really huge space super cool also the trunk it is manually no electric lift gate so going inside the car guys um, and talking a little bit about the door the door look very nice in my opinion and they come with this amazing idea to put this chrome around the, the speaker I never see this on the car and it's look very beautiful in my opinion the best idea ever I want to see this on my car too I want to see these these chrome lines around the plastics <laughs> it make the car the doors look fantastic also we have fabric material with the white stitches all over the the upper part here we have a uh, leather and down here plastic so down part is with plastic but it's look fantastic and also a small place for your bottle there down here we have a flat floor you can see it is amazing uh, it's just a little step and under the seat uh, we have a lot of space to put stuff I don't know if you can see it but under this seat uh, it is a lot of space the way they do it and you can also pu put up the seats and you have a lot of space there you can take it out um, and you have a lot of space here to carry stuff also the front seats are leather here it's combination leather with fabric material in the middle uh, in my opinion they are really comfortable for what they can do and how flexible are those seats it is really really impressive and you also if you lift it down you have a huge visibility on the back window it is really cool um, you even can adjust it the way you want it also you have this panoramic sunroof up there that that look uh, that make the car look much better in the middle we don't have a hole here to carry long items and also here we have just 12 volt port there in the middle and a small place for a cup holder for a, a cup drink uh, or a bottle or something like that the space is also huge space in the back um, I have good, good comfort on the seat also I can stretch a little bit my legs under the front seat and for a small SUV I have a lot of space here in the car and I also have on my head it's not so big big uh, space maybe three fingers something like that two three fingers kind of uh, smaller than another one for for example uh, if I put my my feet a little bit in the front uh, now I will have more space on my head so for me it is not a problem I sit very well here but the other SUV but the visibility is fantastic because normally here you have a black line uh, the the window is uh, in two parts but now they make it just one part and you can see how long the window is and you have a fantastic visibility I love it the window I love it I love the fact that the seats are very flexible I like that here in the middle I don't have a big step to stay in the middle in the middle I don't have so much space it's kind of tight here uh, if I stay straight you can see it for yourself the space in the back is quite small so if, if you can carry uh, tall people in the back of the car don't buy this car this is my my recommendation if you have just kids or uh, small people in the back of the car uh, this car it's perfect 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 it's really beautiful it has great visibility on the windows uh, LED light in the interior great great quality a lot of trunk space for example if you have kids 
you carry a lot of items in the trunk and you need a lot of space and this car can offer you a uh, huge huge space in the trunk and also here in the back uh, you can lift uh, one blanket up and you have huge huge space also going in the front you can see this handle a button here for opening and lock the door here also fabric with um, nice white stitches the same chrome line on the side leather right here around the buttons are plastic normal plastic also down here plastic bottle place and also this speaker with beautiful chrome around it something that I like it very much now you can see here also the plastic down there manually adjustable seat um, and also they are leather with uh, stuff material in the middle quite simple and nice so nothing complicated everything uh, it is simple and nice and also they are very comfortable here have buttons for echo uh, you can see the parking sensors uh, lane assist and all that uh, technology that come the car with the dashboard uh, and you can see this panoramic roof look also nice uh, in the back you have great visibility big windows uh, almost no blind spot there in the back also even also you have the back camera that's pretty useful all over here it's, it's plastic on the dashboard um, and also the vents there but all over up here it's plastic it's look a little bit like Citroen's interior I don't know why the dashboard is not so complicated here you have plastic up here it's good because you can wash it very easy a mirror with a uh, bulb light also uh, here we have LED light up here no glass um, space there no space for glass and some buttons for the sunroof close it open it simple mirror great visibility in the back the multimedia system look a little bit older I don't understand why it looks so older Start stop engine button look fantastic. Um, I love it. It's look very good, very fancy. Also, the steering wheel look nice and it's great quality. Um, and the buttons are really simple to use uh, in the place where they should be. Uh, it's very well made and very good quality. Also, we have some buttons here to help you uh, change different setting on the car also clappers for changing the gear manually if you want it because this car it's an automatic one and the buttons with chrome around there we have a digital display and an LED light around this wheel quite nice also the climatic system it's fully with touch screen something that is you don't have any physical button there everything it's touch screen when you start the car you can adjust the climatic system in the back here you also have uh, in the back of this big stick you have some button electric handbrake auto hold nice chrome on the side also chrome button here on the steering wheel a space here for two cup holder uh, uh, two cup holders for drink or whatever you want to put it you can adjust this hand armrest adjust it the way you want it and you have a very small place here to put your stuff uh, also the dashboard it's a uh, soft material uh, this and these vents are integrated in this soft material with chrome around it kind of okay but I don't understand they don't look so nice uh, big glow box here in my opinion the dashboard uh, can be much better uh, in a car and I don't like the multimedia system uh, it's not so fancy this is the only minus that this car have but I like very much the uh, digital cockpit in the front there the digital cockpit look very nice and also start stop button and everything else in the car look nice just the cockpit and maybe the center console 
they take all the space for that stick. Now, uh, the driver's seat is very good, you have great visibility, also great um, comfort, a lot of space, you can see for yourself, no blind spot in the back, even if it's an SUV, you have a lot of good visibility, even if in the back uh, side windows. Uh, I love the design, how they designed the back window, it's really nice. Also the car have uh, illuminated buttons in white blue, uh, my favorite color. So yeah, that was kind of my review with uh, HRV uh, Honda uh, 2019. Here are some, some, some information, it's an executive uh, model, automat. You can see 131 horsepower, 1.5 liter engine, 35,500 dollars uh, francs. If you are in Switzerland, uh, if you want to see this car, you can come in Bern, around Bern in Honda, and you can see um, the car and you can test drive it. So it's kind of uh, very nice, in my opinion. Uh, great car and also beautiful front so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos um, and i wait you back to see uh, my newest video so thank you again and stay safe guys